Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to bring you guys a quick rundown of the Black Ops 3 beta. So I just hit max level as of right now. The max level for the Black Ops 3 beta is rank 28. So I just hit rank 28 and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I did so far in this beta. So as you can see here, the ARK47, I did manage to unlock all of the attachments and max out this weapon's level. Now let's go ahead and get into the first tier of perks. As you guys can see, I did pick up the blind eye perk. In the second tier, I did also pick up the up the anti perk, which is pretty much just like hardline. It will increase the amount of score you get towards your kill streaks. Except this time, you spawn with the bonus points right off the bat. For the third slot, I did go ahead and get blast suppressors so that my exo movements did not show up on the radar. As you can see here, we do have frag grenades, semtex grenades, and trip mines, and we will have the ability to unlock thermite grenades, combat axes, and C4s later on, or when the game comes out this November. Now if we go ahead and get into the wild cards, I do have most of them unlocked. So all these wild cards are the exact same from the previous Black Ops where you can have two primary weapons, two secondary weapons, two primary grenades, two secondary grenades, as well as the wild cards are having two perks as well. Now also once you get to rank 28, you will unlock this great assault rifle called the M8A17. So pretty much this is the same exact version of the Black Ops 2 weapon called the M8A1. However, it is a slightly different version with a couple new attachments, and you do unlock this at level 28, so you will definitely be able to get this while the beta is up and running. Now let's go ahead and get into the exclusive specialist perks. So you guys have probably already seen all these, you got to choose from them at the beginning. When you started the beta, you got to choose one to start out with, but as you progress higher into the beta, you do unlock these two last tiers. So in the Serif Specialist, we do have the perk called Combat Focus, which while active, all scores earned will trigger a bonus multiplier towards your score streaks. So this combined with the Up the Anti perk will allow you to earn some pretty rapid kill streaks, and I've already tested this out and was able to get my kill streaks a lot easier. We also do have the second tier called Annihilator, which is a massive high caliber revolver that fires devastating rounds with increased bullet penetration. So if you guys are familiar with Destiny, this is very similar to the Golden Gun. However, this is a lot harder to handle and you will have a lot harder time getting those rapid kills off to clear out rooms. This is more of a weapon that you want to sit back with and let people come to you with because it is a lot harder to rush around with and I did have a little bit of trouble using this, this specialist. Finally, at level 28, you will unlock the Nomad Specialist, which is pretty ridiculous. At first here, you will get a rocket launcher that shoots out hive clusters. So if anyone comes in range of one of these hive clusters or steps on top of them, a swarm of bees will immediately come to attack them. And after using this specialist, I found out that these will pretty much one hit kill anyone in range. Now we also do have the second tier called Rejack, which was pretty much a self-res if you guys are familiar with Destiny, but pretty much what it does is after you die you can go ahead and trigger the specialist and you will come back to life with full health, able to take down your enemies. Now finally let's go ahead and get into these killstreaks. I know I was very interested in seeing out what this last killstreak was here because I did think it was possibly the dogs. But I did actually end up finding out that the RAPS killstreak, which is pretty much dogs on steroids with a bunch of rolling servitors running around blowing up your enemies. Now, they're not as lethal as the dogs, but I did make an entire video on this killstreak alone if you want to go ahead and check that out. But finally, let's go down into this GI unit and check out this last final killstreak. So pretty much what this is, is a mini robot that will follow you around around the map to take out the enemies with you. Now you do have the option to set it to a single location to guard it, or you can set it to follow you around and watch your back. So this is a pretty awesome kill streak. Unfortunately, I did only get it once, so What's I'll have to brain? test this out a little bit in the future. And if it does end up being something pretty amazing, I will definitely make sure to make a video on that as well. And finally, to wrap this video up, I did figure I would show you guys what all the loading screens with look like What's with all the brain? specialist characters. So if you guys didn't know, each time you select a specialist character, that is the person that you will have in the game. And they all have their own unique out. little loading screen before you get into each match. So here's a quick oh, look at all of those. Out. Other than that guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like down below. I mostly upload daily Destiny content, however, once the full Black Ops 3 game does release, I will probably be making videos on that as well. So if you'd like to be subscribed for that, definitely be sure to hit that sub button, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow in another video. Peace.